pastor was asking that if himself the prophet he is not aware of what will happen to him mm -hmm. how about the believers why do you continue following such a person now i got that verse because they told us in islam if you do not know something someone else will knows about no. it like yeah. above someone who has knowledge there is another one who has more knowledge mm -hmm. so i went to, i went to my leader the muslim and asked him that is it true that the prophet never knew because the things i was reciting them in prayer mm -hmm. you know, muslims can recite a lot of things in prayer not knowing their meanings for example we used to recite in prayer like when you're standing you're praying and you start which means which simply means that and an aunt said to the fellow ants all fellow ants enter into your your caves okay. that Suleiman should not step on you such mm -hmm. a thing now you're reciting in the eating prayer is that really prayer mm -hmm. now we could not realize that now when I went to my teacher asked him about 46 verse 9 mm -hmm. he told me yes my brother Omar Prophet Muhammad was a human being like us who had limitations when he mentioned that that he had limitations when the pastor had introduced to me someone with no limitation and that Jesus Christ mm -hmm. my faith began to shrink in Islam story by story I continued reading the Quran with my head not allowing someone to explain it for me mm -hmm. until when I, I, I arrived to many of them for example when you read uh, chapter 9 verse 125 it says the Amal Ladina Amal Ladina more than that for those who have diseases in their, in their heart, hearts. The Quran when it comes to them, Father that whom Rujisun Allah Rujisim, the Quran itself increases sickness into them. And I realized this might be a wrong place. Mm. Now it happened one day that I started doubting my faith. When my father started realizing that I'd started going to the mosque as I used to do, my prayers had reduced a bit. So he became very tough. Mm. And as he became very tough, I started looking for more and more scriptures in the Quran until when I arrived to some verse in the, in the Quran, I mean in the Hadith, which says that in the shaitan in the holy shaitan in shanihi, that indeed Satan comes to every one of you Muslims mm. in all your life affairs. Mm. I knew I need Jesus who can save me from Satan, wow. not Muhammad, who is confirming to me that Satan will come to me at any form of my life. So I gave my life to Jesus afterwards. Because the, prophet, the pastor told me that Jesus, God loved the whole world. Mm. He did not distinguish that I've loved the righteous and hated the, the sinners. Mm. He loved everyone. Wow. And he tasked me to go into the Quran and find only one verse where Allah says, I love the whole world with the sinners and righteous alike. Mm. He, I did not find it. He told me this is the real God who loves both the sinners and, and the righteous. Love. And actually, the Bible says that the Bible says he came for the sinners that they might repent and not perish the way they are. And wow. when you realize, when I was reading the Quran, chapter 2, verse 10, it was telling me that uh, in some people's hearts are diseases. No diseases. And when Allah comes, he adds more diseases to them. And the tafsir of it was telling me that those who disbelieve, those who don't believe in Allah, Allah comes and adds diseases into them. And then I knew this one cannot guide the non-believers. Mm. I need Jesus Christ. I gave my life to Jesus. Wow. And when they started threatening me with death threats, we are going to chase you out of the home, we shall be, you will be killed. Mm -hmm. things. They mm -hmm. made me continue to make me more firm in Christianity. Wow. The reason being, uh, when they were threatening me, the pastor had already showed me yeah. in the Bible, yeah. that they will hurt you, they will throw you out they bring you in synagogue. Actually, the verse which encouraged me was this one where they took me into the meeting with my family members and they started uh, uh, asking me questions. Uh -huh. like, why did you? Asking me a lot of things, even some of which I could not answer. I remember the verse the pastor told me that they would deliver you up to councils. Mm -hmm. They would bring mm -hmm. you to councils. They throw mm -hmm. you out of their synagogues. But do not fear, for great is your reward in heaven. So I became very firm and strong in church. I continued to chase me out of the family. I went and started staying in a local church there. Mm -hmm. uh, and in the, in the, during that time, I could go to the pastor's home and then we, we shared the little food they had because they wow. also were not doing very well. With, we so, thank God for preserving you and keeping you up until this time. And I, I just want to encourage you to continue uh, with the faith and sharpening others for, for the gospel. So let, let me speak also to my brother for a moment. and. If, if, would it be okay for you uh, to uh, put you on camera? Uh, it's okay, but uh, I don't understand to speak English. Swahili, you want to speak Swahili? Mm. 
Okay, unaweza ongea Kiswahili? Naweza kuongea kidogo. Kidogo kidogo. Mm. All right. Uh, so you, you can introduce yourself, my brother. Ji uh, ujitambulishe uh, naam. Mahmud Chintu. Mahmud. Eh, Mahmud. Mimi ni kuwa Muislamu. Aha. Mungu alipatia mimi usalama. Mhm. Nimegeuka kutoka kwa Uislamu. Mhm. Narudi kwa nimeokoka. Amen. Amen. Mm. Mahmud ni nini ambacho kilikufanya mpaka ukawa Mkristo sasa? E, kitu moja. Mm. Labda ni, kitu moja. Ndio. Ni nisoma Qur'an. Mhm. Kwa kitabu ya Qur'an. Mhm. Sula ya hamsini na ii na tano mm-hmm. na ine Hamsini na ine mm-hmm. Satu kamal e. Naam Aya ya tano mm-hmm. Elisema Tikitabu hii Quran mm-hmm. Hakuna Hakuna Kitu yote mm-hmm. e, Hakuna kitu kinawanza kusaidia mutu mm nasema nabaki huko kwa Qur'an nabaki kwa moja mm-hmm. nasoma sura tauba mm-hmm. aya ya ya moja na saba mm-hmm. inasema kwa Kiswahili mm-hmm. kwa Kiarabu na yeah, unaweza soma kwa Kiarabu ndio walladhina tahada almasjid alghirar wa tufarika baina almu'minina suada almana raballahu wa rasula mm-hmm. wala ya'lifunna inna aradna illa al-hasana wallahu yashaa annahum lakadhibun mtu Hawa watu wanaingia kwa masjid mm-hmm. wanabaki kwa masjid mm-hmm. wanakuwa warongo sana wamejenga msikiti wa kuleta udhia msikiti wanatia kitu mm-hmm. hiyo warongo sana mm-hmm. kama ninasikia ni, ni, hiyo habari na nasema ah mimi nigeuke nitoke kwa kwa Kiislamu mm-hmm. niende kwa iko na muamini Yesu mm-hmm. anapatia uzima wa milele. Amina. Baada yeah. baada ya kuwa Mkristo, mm. maisha yamekuwa vipi katika uh, familia yako na, na, na jamii yako kwa ujumla? Mm. Wamekubali kwamba umekuwa Mkristo, walikukubali, wamewacha mimi yote. Mm. Hata baba yangu, mm-hmm. tata yangu Mm. wamewacha hapa wa ndugu yangu yote wamewacha mimi. Mm. Mebaki mtu mmoja. Kama mm. mimi napata accident. Mm-hmm. Wanawacha mimi kwa hospitali, mm. namaliza kwa hospitali. Miezi tisa Ulika hospitalini miezi tisa Tisa mebaki huko mtu mmoja sana. Mm. Ulipata ajali ya barabarani au? E, nilipata ajali ya barabarani. Mm-hmm. E, kuwa ajali mbaya nimejuruhiwa mm. mguu nimevunjika mm-hmm. miguu mbili na mikono mm. e. lakini Yesu ni mwema Yesu ni mwema alisaidia mimi mhm basi kupatia mimi uzima wacha ni mimi ni, ni kuimize tu kwamba uendelee mm. uh, taji yako iko, iko. taji yako ni kuu uh, Yesu ataja ametuahidi kwamba atakuwa pamoja na sisi. Maisha hayatakuwa mepesi. E, lakini atakuwa pamoja na sisi. Hiyo ndio ahadi ambayo ametupa. Kwa hivyo nikushukuru sana na labda labda niulize tu swali la mwisho kwamba ungependa Wakristo wa, wa, wa umbe na wewe kwa namna gani? Labda kama ungependa kuongea na Wakristo mimi nataka kitu moja naam nimeombea kwa mimi mm-hmm. mimi iko na na, na wandito wangu wawili wa, wa mabinti hey, wasichana mabinti ndio wasichana aha wasichana ndio wasichana yangu watoto yangu watoto wako ndio hey, moja aligeuka kutoka kwa Kiislamu ah mmoja ameokoka eh hey, ameokoka asante mm-hmm. lakini iko mmoja amebaki mm-hmm. amebaki kule katika Uislamu hey. Mhm. Nataka ni waniombe yeko. Amina. Mungu anisaidie. Amen. Na huyo msichana mtoto wangu mm. ageuke. Mm. Amen. Kwa pamoja. Amen. Yeah. U, anaitwa nani? Labda jina moja tu. Jina. Moja tu. Zainabu. Zainabu. Yeah. Hapo tumwombee Zainabu yeah. ili aweze kumtambua Yesu. Yeah. Amen. Uh, nadhani Mungu ni mwema. Maandiko yanasema kwamba yeye hataki mtu yeyote aangamie anasema tutakapomwamini atatuokoa sisi na familia zetu. Kwa namshukuru Mungu kwamba ata
tutazidi kumwombea Zainabu uh, kwamba bwana akamlete God bless you asante sana Amen amen man of god yes do you have uh, la- maybe one word you could tell us Thank you for the work you're doing here in Kampala. Yeah, we are glorifying God Amen. because of what you are doing in Uganda Amen. and all over East Africa mm-hmm. and Africa as well. Mm-hmm. Because uh, I've been watching through social media. Yes. People trying to explain mm-hmm. which gospel mm-hmm. in Nigeria and other countries. Yes. In the case of Uganda, it is mm-hmm. a black issue. Mm-hmm. So we are blessed to have you here today. Amen. We Amen. believe that by tomorrow also you will continue to bless yes. us. Yes. And in a few months we will be in Nairobi also mm-hmm. to bless them. Mm-hmm. One thing I know, that what Jesus said, that nothing, hide, nothing is hidden shall not yes. be. Revealed. revealed. God is revealing everything. Amen. Because Islam is being defeated all over the world. Amen. They have been telling people, you know, in a dina, in a rally, Islam, mm-hmm. even before, before God is, is Islam. Islam. Mm. But whenever you ask them, prove it, who said it? Mm. They don't prove it that it's God who said it. So because God bless you so much, man of God, and thank, thank you, you for sharing with us. Oh, and welcome. thank you for the work that you are doing here. Thank um, you also. Amen. I'm Amen. just appealing to everybody who is mm-hmm. watching. Yes. That please don't fear, continue to reveal the truth mm. through Bible and the Quran. Amen. And if it if, if it's possible, please support this gospel Amen. and also join in the war God. Amen. God, Amen. Bless God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. All right. So God bless you so much. That has been our time here in Kampala. Yes. And we will continue to be together tomorrow.